Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our ongoing series of lectures on anesthesiology. Today we are going to talk about intravenous lidocaine. We discuss in this lecture, mechanism of action, practical consideration, dose schedule, most beneficial. If you are new on my channel please subscribe to my channel. So let's go to start our lecture. Intravenous lidocaine. Invention in 1943, used in 1949. The pharmacological effect of IV lidocaine involves multiple pathways, peripheral, central, mechanism, direct and indirect for pain relief. Most ideal drug to blunt airway reflexes and sympathetic responses to laryngoscopy and tracheal intubation. Mechanism of action. Block sodium ion channels on the cell membranes and stabilizes the membrane. In neural tissues, lidocaine inhibits the generation, transmission and propagation of neural impulses. Practical consideration. The concomitant use of IV lidocaine with another regional anesthesia technique, for example, epidural, TAP block, requires careful consideration and is probably best avoided because of possible local anesthetic toxicity. IV lidocaine is a component of every laparoscopic procedure, irrespective of its duration, invasiveness and desired outcomes. IV lidocaine is useful to relieve PDPH. Postoperative IV lidocaine Use of lidocaine for up to 24 hours has significant decreases in pain. Reduced analgesic requirements A faster return of GI function an overall reduction in side effects. Maximum postoperative infusion can be given up to 3 to 5 days till the bowel function returns normal and pain is well controlled. Multipara monitoring is must during postoperative IV lidocaine. Most beneficial. In painful propofol and etomidate. Both in acute and chronic pain. Abdominal surgery. Neurosurgery, ENT surgery, analgesic, antiarrhythmic, reduces the release of cytokines, reduces opioid analgesic consumptions, reduced volatile anesthetic consumption, decreased laryngospasm and laryngeal edema. Dose schedule. A bolus of 1 to 2 mg per kg followed by end infusion of 1 to 2 mg per kg per hour with ideal body weight. From pediatric to geriatric. Do not exceed a maximum dose of 100 mg bolus or 100 mg per hour. The target plasma concentration for therapeutic effect is between 2.5 and 3.5 urg per ml. CNS toxicity occurs in more than 5 Urg per mil. CVS toxicity occurs in more than 10 Urg per mil. Thanks for watching. Anesthesia with Dr. T.